Islam is the Quran, the authentic Sunnah, as understood by the companions of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. That's what Islam is. It's not about my conjecture or thoughts or my background, my skin color. None of that matters. We all refer everything back to the Quran and Sunnah and we understand it the way that the Sahaba, the companions of the Prophet understood this religion. So with that said, if we look to the scholars of the religion, those who are the inheritors of the prophets, those who know the Quran and Sunnah best, they have reached a consensus regarding this issue of greeting the non-Muslims on Christmas and their religious holidays, that this sort of a thing is haram. So with that said, okay, does that matter to you? Does it matter to you that the scholars have reached a consensus about this issue? Number one, first and foremost, if this behavior is displeasing to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, it is against what the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam taught, then that should be a concern for us. And it should be something that we want to change, that we want to speak out against if we can, just to please Allah. And another reason why it's important is that if it's not pointed out that this behavior is against Islam, then what ends up happening is people are going to assume that this is correct. If this is getting millions of views, this is the behavior that's spreading, a lot of people are just going to assume that, oh, Muslims, they can say Merry Christmas, which is, number one, it's, it's incorrect, according to the consensus of the scholars. But secondly, how does that reflect on other Muslims who actually want to practice their deen? They want to practice their religion properly then it, it leaves us in very awkward positions. It makes us look like we are extremists when, when really those people are the extremists. They've just gone to extreme of belittling their religion. 